Okay, hi friends. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you about my favorite podcast. How do I listen podcast? And I will also tell you about how I developed my habit of listening a podcast. I will tell you all about that and how, in fact, uh, I was from uh, a broken English speaker to a better speaker. I, I never call myself as the best or the very fluent. No, I am a better. I'm working on myself. I'm a work in progress person. I've improved a lot. I'll keep on improving on my communication skills because I believe that the biggest room in the world is room for improvement. I am saying this on YouTube that I'm working on myself. And that is really very important for me. I'm a student for life. If you want to be a good teacher first, you have to be a good student. I'll tell you about my podcast, which podcast I listen. And I will also tell you about how I developed this habit of listening podcast. So come on, let's start and jump in. Guys, I'll tell you about my background. I started listening podcasts because I tried with all the grammar and all and it all failed. It didn't work. I mean, I told you I passed out in 1998 from B mechanical engineering. And when I was out of my engineering, I mean, I wanted to speak better English, but I couldn't. And then I lost a lot of opportunities. And then I thought like, okay, as everyone thinks like, okay, your grammar, I have to study only then I can speak fluently. Then I realized I'm studying grammar, but nothing is changing. All right, and, and it, it's just waste of time. I'm getting more confused, getting more worried. The more you think about grammar, the more worried you are because it is like, uh, you know, what not to do. And if someone tells you what not to do and how to speak correct, you pressurize yourself. And that is called as perfectionist attitude, which creates depression, mm. stress, panic, anxiety. Even it's called as OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder in psychological terms. So then I realized that's not going to work. I left that. And I, then I started studying on you know, how to develop a language, what is the fluency, what are the real parameters of that. I studied a lot of psychological books, a lot of psychology books I studied. I listened a lot of uh, podcasts, I listened a lot of things and then I realized that the key factor for developing your fluency is listening. The more you listen, the better. And now then I I faced with a lot of problems. I mean, I'm talking about 2003, 2004. During those days, smartphones, smartphones were not there. Internet was very poor. In fact, it was so poor that to download one GB it would take at least half a day. That kind of connectivity was there. But I wanted to listen. Now what to do? I purchased an old MP3 player. MP3 player was there. Now we have smartphones. MP3 player was there. I think that it was having 4 GB capacity. I would insert audio files in that and I would listen to that. Mobile was different. This was different quite hectic, cumbersome, but I did that because I wanted to speak, I wanted to develop myself. I did that, I remember whenever I would go for a jog, for cycling, or I was driving, I would listen, listen, listen. I consumed hundreds and hundreds of books and podcasts on various topics, but my favorite topic was psychology and self-development as you know. This helped me in many ways. First, it helped me to develop my fluency. But my main intention was not fluency. My main intention was to develop the knowledge about psychology and about the world and about, about everything, personal development. That was my main focus. English became a byproduct and English just developed. I never realized because English is an unconscious development process. You can't consciously develop that. It just develops unconsciously. All those are fluent speakers, native and non-native. They haven't consciously developed the language. They developed the habits. Language got developed. It was a byproduct. They were not focusing on English. They're focusing on reading. They loved reading. They loved listening. They loved speaking. And they just, it just evolved. Same thing happened with me also. So I overcome this technical problem. Another problem was to understand. I mean, I wasn't able to understand the fluent speakers, to be very frank. I couldn't understand the fast speakers, the American accent, the British accent, my English sucked. I mean, vocabulary was poor. Then I studied and then I, I really understood how to understand these people. And no, there is no any magic bullet formula which I found out. No, 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 no. No secret of nothing like this. I used a technique called two senses technique. And the, the this technique is given in the, I think video number 16, I have told about this technique. Link is given here, you can watch that video. So then slowly I started understanding all these things. And then after three to four years, I could understand native speakers very easily, very easily. Slowly it grew and grew and grew. And I never now, uh, really uh, have to focus on what that person is saying. It just 
I understand easily. But understanding was not that easy, friends. I had to read a lot. I had to develop my vocabulary. And then slowly, slowly, it, it all, uh, I was able to understand the accent, the speed, and all the words being used. Today, I mean, I, I listen a lot. Whenever I get time, I listen. Uh, I have, uh, you know, my mobile phone in my car. I have my, my car is in fact a university on wheels. I listen a lot. While working out, I listen a lot. While jogging, I listen a lot. I just listen, listen, and listen. It's really fun. I mean, I, I really enjoy that. Now, understand one thing that uh, while listening, while listening, I enjoy the podcast. And my podcasts are many. I love, for example, Work Life. This is a psychology podcast by Adam Grant. It's my favorite podcast. Then I listen to Tony Robbins podcast, which some of you may know him. Then I listen to uh, another podcast is Psychology Today podcast is there. Then I listen to Quiet. This is by Suzanne Kane. Again, it's all psychological podcast. Sometimes I listen to uh, BBC News also. It's not a podcast, but it's a news. And I mean, I just enjoy variety of podcasts Why? because I love that. I love podcast. I'm not chasing English. I'm chasing the content in the podcast and my English develops by default. Well, friends, hope you understood this and I'm sure that you are going to implement some things out of this. But sometimes it happens to me also. I get fed up and I don't listen to podcasts. I listen to music also. But that seldom happens. Sometimes I listen to music and my favorite singer is and uh, Arijit Singh. Okay. And which is yours? Give in the comment. And one more thing. Apart from that, tell me which is your favorite podcast so that others can understand which podcasts are good. But listen carefully. Do not listen to any grammar podcast. You are going to get confused. Listen to English podcast, not a grammar podcast. Thanks a lot for watching this video, dear friends. Take care. Bye-bye. The next video is very important. Very important. Audio books. Audio books. Really amazing. Don't miss that video. You will thank me for making that video. Thank you. Goodbye.